Let me get to this last item before I go to break. Because it's a regards to the Milwaukee Bucks again, who struggled late in the season. Milwaukee dropped to the third seed after losing to the Orlando Magic, which, by the way, is a team we all need to be paying attention to. The Bucs started this offseason with high expectations following that blockbuster trade for All-NBA guard Damian Lillard days before training camp. First year, Coach Adrian Griffin started 30-13, and 13, but was dismissed midseason for Doc Rivers. The Bucs since are 17-19 and 19 since Rivers' coaching debut on January 29th, and now they're playing the high-scoring Indiana Pacers, who've beaten them in like four to five meetings they've had. I do not believe that Doc Rivers will get fired if they lose this series, particularly with Giannis Antetokounmpo hurt um, and Damian Lillard having some of the issues that he's had on a personal basis, which is none of anybody's business. But he's had some family issues, and it's and you're in a new city, and you don't have the support base you once had in Portland. Um, it's a lot. And I think we're seeing that it's a lot for him to handle. Having said all of that, I'm going to reiter reiterate what I said when Doc Rivers first got the job in Milwaukee. I don't think he'll get he'll suffer the consequences of any subpar play or anything like that this season. But if Doc Rivers doesn't get to the finals or win the chip next year, I think this will be Doc Rivers' last head coaching job in the NBA. He's been coaching now close to 25 years as a head coach. He's had ample time. He's got one title. He's got two trips to the NBA Finals. Um, he's had multiple Game 7 losses, particularly up 3-1 and then losing Game 7s. Um, none of this bodes well for him. I love Doc Rivers. I think he's a damn good coach. But in the end, you do have people begging him to pull out his bag and show them something new because they think he's been figured out. We'll find out whether or not that's true or not. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if Indiana beats Milwaukee. I really, really wouldn't. I'm sorry, I just feel that way. And when I think about Doc Rivers, I think that's going to be very bad for him. Here's what I also think the Milwaukee Bucks should be considering. And I've said this on TV, but I'm going to say it here for the purposes of this podcast. I think if things don't work out, I think if there's a way to unload his contract, I really, really believe that Damian Lillard should be traded. I'm not saying that because of Damian Lillard, the player. I believe in the brother. I believe the brother's big time. And I believe that he'll find a way to get done what he needs to get done. But I also firmly believe that he's miserable. I don't think he's happy at all. And I think that when you look at Damian Lillard, that matters. It really, really does. Because you need Damian Lillard, you know, to be Damian Lillard. I'm just looking at his numbers right now. Damian Lillard's getting paid $45.6 million this year. That number elevates to 48.7 next year. Then in 2025-26, it elevates to $58.5 million. And then he has a player option at $63.2 million. So we understand what's going on. It's very, very difficult to get somebody else to want to absorb that contract of Damian Lillard. But what I would surmise to anybody is that, yeah, he was willing to leave Portland, but he wanted to be in Miami. You don't want to be in Miami, but you okay with Milwaukee. Let's just say it's two different, completely different worlds. Just trust me on this. Trust me on this. Milwaukee is not Miami. I had to do an event there just a couple of weeks ago with Thanasis and Giannis. It was damn near blizzard. Three days later, I was in Miami. It was damn near 90 degrees. It's a different world. It's a different world. You don't aspire to go to Miami and you're okay in Milwaukee. 
You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? I'm just telling you. So you have to take those things into consideration and draw the conclusion that maybe, just maybe, as an organization, we support Dame. We know that Dame is a terrific player. We win when he's on the court. We lose when he's not. This brother can explode at any moment. He's big time. Dame Dollar, the closer. But you, 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 you got to look in the mirror and ask yourself, can I make somebody happy? And sometimes you got to really, really recognize when you can't. And I think that's what Milwaukee should be doing when it comes to Damian Lillard. And try to get him someplace. Dare I say that he'll be happier. I think it's something that should be strongly considered, especially if Indiana bounces them out in the first round. You heard me say it. I just said it again.